Uh, pleasure to have you with us here on Warriors TV today. As for the second consecutive home game, it is first against second. This time the visitors are Peterhead. Gary Naismith celebrated signing a new two-year contract extension and he has done so by making two changes and it also may include a change of shape as Ewan O'Reilly who has started all but two league games this season is on the bench as is Matty Yates. Jordan Kirkpatrick makes his first start here since the opening day draw with four for Athletic and Bradley Rodden gets his second start in Maroon as he looks for his first goal for the Warriors. For Peterhead, they have made one alteration to the starting 11 that drew at home to East Fife last week. Andy McCarthy returns in place of Joe McKee, who takes his place on the bench, of which all the rest remain unchanged. Games and netting his third goal of the season against four for last week and of course that settled back four Meekin just brushed off the ball and that's an early chance for Richie just couldn't get his header on target but the run of four defeats in five over Christmas and New Year for Peter Head has really cost the visitors dearly they'd only won they'd only lost three of the first 15 until then and it looked like they were going to keep up pace and maybe create a title race and there's an effort from Aitken first real sight of goal for him and McKenzie was unable to deal with it and concedes a corner Strachan nicely worked from Peter Head and there's the effort just straight into the hands of Jameson, but it's good build-up play. There's Berry into Kirkpatrick. It's worked out to Billum. And a better ball, and that would have been a lovely move. There's Rodden with the effort. Just couldn't keep it down. Just about 25 minutes gone, still goalless, and... I wouldn't say nervy, but both sides looking to play, but... And that's an effort. What an effort! Matched by the save from Jameson to deny O'Keefe. But first and foremost, got a game to deal with today and trying to break that deadlock. It's the most pressing matter. Here's Kinley Billum. Ball was moving, you know, but just couldn't keep it under the crossbar. In the 45th minute, and it's Kirkpatrick. Just couldn't get enough height or whip round that Peterhead wall. It's a Stenner Smear ball. It's an Adam Brown ball. That's a great touch into the path of Berry. O'Reilly's in the centre. What a fine tackle that was from Duffy to deny you and O'Reilly. And finally, something to rouse the home crowd. Meekin couldn't get there. He's come all the way back to Buchanan. Now Jameson. It's turned into a lovely ball for Brown. And there's Yeats. Another crucial touch off a blue shirt to take it over the bar. No time for the long throw as the referee Duncan Williams brings an end to proceedings today. And for the second successive game here at Oco View, it's the top two and it's finished in a stalemate here. Not a classic once again, and Stennis Muir failed to make the breakthrough, but it's still another point on the way to something very, very special, you imagine, this season. 
neither side really came that close a couple of fine saves from Darren Jameson and Matty Yates had a couple of really good opportunities right at the death but it's finished here at Oakleview Stenhouse Muir nil, Peterhead nil